your girly man and I'm back with another freaking video. Okay, y'all. So as y'all can read by the title, y'all already know what this video is about. Anyway, so y'all, we are going to talk about y'all. I gotta uh oh my freaking legs are sticking to this chair, thick thighs and apple pies. Y'all already know, period. But anyway, um, so we're gonna do a little I actually should have been done this back in what? Oh, that's a better. I ain't got no earrings on or nothing. But anyway, y'all, so today's video is about. Okay, anyway, I should have did this back in freaking 2022. At, I don't know how many months, but, well, at somewhere between three months and earlier. But anyway, so we're going to talk about my first trimester symptoms, y'all. And cravings. So, um, some of my symptoms were, we're going to go in order. So, one of my first symptoms was sleeping, y'all. When I tell y'all, that was kind of the main reason on how I knew that I was pregnant. And, like, I would just sleep all day, y'all. And remind you, I, I didn't sleep that much, like, before um, I got pregnant, y'all. I would sleep a little bit because I worked, what, Fridays, Saturday, Sundays, and Wednesdays at first. So, my 12s would be on the weekend, and my eight-hour shifts would be on that Friday and that Wednesday. So, I, I didn't sleep like that, you know, because, you know, I got to get the kids on the bus and all that extra stuff. So, y'all, when I tell y'all, I would get off, get the kids, well, get my, my youngest, because that's the only one that I really have to kind of, that we kind of have to, you know, get ready and everything like that. Get her ready to get on the bus, you comb her hair, you know, make sure she get dressed and make sure she looking, you know, good to go to school after that y'all i would come home and go put them on the bus and go straight to sleep like and literally sleep all day until bag it off like he'd be like hey you still in the bed you still sleep y'all because we'll be on the phone i really baby i was not talking because i would be not freak out but anyway so yeah that was one of the main, 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 and I still sleep a lot, you know, and right now, your girl is seven months, so, yeah, that was one of the first freaking things that I noticed, um, I'm lying, no, yeah, that was one of the main, main things I noticed, but the first thing that he noticed was my face was dry, and it was crazy because... He was like, babe, why your face so dry? And I'm like, I don't know, because I'm pregnant. That's the baby. That's the baby. But whole time, I'm joking. I'm really joking, playing. And he was like, man, go ahead. So, kids, you not. Probably a week and a half later, I end up taking a test. Because of, you know, the sleeping and all that. So, um, I ended up taking the test, y'all. Pregnant. So I showed him, I took like, I didn't take as many this time. Um, I took like maybe four or whatnot. So, um, y'all, my face would be so dry. But it wouldn't be dry all over. You know, it would be like a dot here, um, here, and like here. Like mostly under my eyes, like not literally under my eyes, by my cheeks and stuff like that. Or like under, like right here. So, um... Yeah, y'all. He noticed that first. And then, you know, of course, I'm joking about it. But all in reality, it was, it was true. But you guys didn't just know that. But anyway, so yeah. That was one of the first, first symptoms. And the second one was, of course, the sleeping. Um, What else? And I was getting a little acne. But it wasn't like in the first month or the second month. 
Well, kind of like um, mid, in between like the second and third month or whatever, like two and a half mark or whatever. So, um, yeah, my face, I would get acne like a little bit here and of course here. But that was crazy because my previous pregnancy, you know, my five-year-old, you know, she's five. So I got acne in that same spot. So, you know, so dry face with the acne and of course the sleeping. Um, what else? Going to the bathroom a lot, y'all. Of course, you know, your pregnancy, your whole pregnancy, your whole freaking 40 weeks, nine months, whatever. You know, you, you go to the bathroom the whole time. So, that was another thing. I'm like, dang, like, I will use the bathroom a lot. So when I say a lot, I will go at least 20 times a day. No lie. 20 times a freaking day to the bathroom, running back and forth, back and forth. Be like, dang, you keep going to the Yes, baby. You want me to pee on you or what? <laughs> no R. Kelly. Well, anyway, yeah, so, you know, the uh, frequent... Frequently going to the best, I said best room, to the restroom. Yeah, that was another symptom, of course. And all day nausea. Y'all, when I tell you, and that was another, another main reason that I knew. When I tell you, you girl just used to be nauseated the whole freaking first trimester. And early pregnancy, we're just finding out, or before I even knew, that was another one. I hated it so much, y'all, because you nauseated, right? Okay, boom. Nothing coming out. Nothing want to come up. You just nauseated all day. And, you know, everybody be like, oh, it's normal uh, morning sickness. I didn't have morning sickness. I had freaking all day nausea, which was so freaking aggravating. Because, baby, I am not the type of person that throws up. I do not. Like, it really got to take a lot. Like, I really got to be dang sick to the freaking floor. Y'all, I really have to be real life sick or I get food poisoning or something. And I ain't ever have food poisoning. God, thank you. But, yeah, y'all. Mm -mm. I do not get sick, y'all. Well, I get sick. Well, it's, yeah, and that was another thing. I was getting sick so easy in my first trimester, y'all. I hated it. Because I don't even get sick. Like, I might get sick once a year. Might. And that's a big might. And it's only in the summertime. Like, yeah. And that's weird. But, hey, it's only the summertime that I would mainly get sick. If that. Okay, so we gonna go down to these freaking cravings, baby. Cravings, honey. Yes, craving. You know you gotta crave something. But anyway, so my, one of my first main cravings was cheese. String cheese at that. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I didn't even eat cheese like that. Like people, you know, love to have cheese on their burgers. I would a uh, sandwich. I, I, I go without. Y'all, when I tell you, string freaking cheese. String cheese. String cheese. String cheese. The whole freaking first trimester, I would eat string freaking cheese. That is the weirdest craving ever. Like, who wants to be eating cheese all day? Like, y'all, I would literally go to the store. Y'all know the variety pack of cheese that they have with the string cheese. They have the, um, I think they have the pepper jack still, or they used to, but I had one with the, I think it's American Jack or some sh something. It was my, it was a variety. I used to go there, eat the whole pack after I purchased it. Yeah, it would last me for probably maybe five days. Maybe. Yeah freaking cheese okay one of my second cravings was, was juice i did not drink water my first trimester i might have drunk probably no more than five bottles of water and it wasn't all the big ones 
Y'all, she did not like me drinking water for some reason. I don't know, but yeah, your girl, she wanted juice, baby. Juice. 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 But I'm a cranberry juice person, but she didn't even want me drinking that like that, you know? So the main thing I was drinking was juice. And last but not least, your girl was craving seafood. Y'all, I will go everywhere trying to look for blue crabs. Y'all, blue crabs. Bought blue crabs at that, you know. Um, That was another main thing. Like, I was so mad because I could not find blue crabs anywhere. And when I did find them, y'all, guess what? They wasn't even selling them. Or the place would be closed. When I did feel like getting up and go driving and look, if I wasn't too tired, they would be closed. So, I what I had, I probably got some frozen crawfish. You know, they bought, they had them frozen and then boiled them and, you know, then I had crab legs and whatnot. But yeah, those were my main freaking um, cravings and symptoms in my first trimester. So I'm gonna continue to keep y'all updated and I'm gonna let y'all know. Um well no, we're gonna but our next probably video will be something of course dealing with the pregnancy, of course, but um but keep y'all updated, you know. So don't forget to comment down below, like, subscribe, make sure the notification bell ding, and it's the end of this video.